Hey, I'm Brian. I'm the owner of Boulder Camper Vans, and we build custom camper vans out of Boulder, Colorado. We uh, completely give the clients the experience of having a van built exactly the way they want. I think that we make some really unique, special custom vans that people can really appreciate and that are built to last. So let's go check it out. So I'm Maddie. I work for Boulder Camper Vans. This van is called the Good Old Boy. It is a 144 Mercedes Sprinter four-wheel drive. So some features back here, we have an outdoor shower hookup with this swivel step. So you can shower out of the mud back here. Shower's super easy. You just click it in and you have your water here. So over here we have the water system. There's a 32 gallon tank over here of fresh water. And so they have a Rickson's D5 heater. So they have cabin heat and hot water. This is garage storage. We also put in a slide out tray. That way you don't have to crawl in the back of the van to reach your gear. And this fan has a dual air compressor, so we gave them a hookup in the front and in the back as well. So back here, you will see we use Victron battery systems, 200 amp hour lithium ion batteries, 3000 watt inverter. So up here, we have the bed area. We have flare space bump outs, so they allow six feet, five inches of sleeping sideways and the bed space and width is about 48 inches. So plenty of sleeping room. Here we have RB components, bug nets. So you can keep this back door open with the bug net, have a nice breeze go by. So back here we have Alvan components. Um, we have the B2B carrier with the Expedition box. Just allows for extra storage on the exterior of your van. If you would put trash, muddy shoes in here. The one-up bike racks, and then we got a ladder tire carrier back here. Um, this allows you to get on the roof and carry a spare tire as well. So we have the Katoon shovel head front bumper up here um, with the worn winch, um, and then we have the Baja amber lights with Pathfinder pod lights as well, and then the hood is Rhino line just to prevent against chipping. Over here we have the Fiamma F45 awning, backwoods, roof rack, 50 inch light bar up there along with 360 lighting. All terrain tires on here with the Method 301 rims and then we did a van compass suspension as well on this van. Okay, so we're gonna step in here we have a lagoon mount here and here. That way you can move this tabletop depending on where you want to sit. We put in swivel seats up here along with a headliner shelf for extra storage above the front seats. We have a two person bench seat, pull out Dometic toilet. We put in an isotherm 85 liter fridge in this kitchen galley, induction cooktop, sink and we always make these inlays so you can have more counter space when you're not using the sink. Um, and then we have a floor to ceiling cabinet over here with the microwave at the top. Um, this bottom drawer pulls out and it has this top so you can step into the bed no problem. So we have a Nomadic 3000 AC unit back here along with the max air fan to create a nice air tunnel through the van. Um, over here you have your control panel and then these clients requested a kind of a partition wall with some slots so they can have these drawers that slide back and forth between kitchen area and bed. Most of our builds do have bamboo. We whitewash this bamboo. Um, fabric wall panels, that's pretty standard with us. And then they requested a bamboo ceiling with some L-Track just for extra hanging storage. Thanks for checking out the good old boy. Next we will check out Go Argo with Nate.
My name is Nate Treasure. I'm with Boulder Camper Vans. I'm the general manager as well as a builder and creator. Welcome to the van we have here for you guys to see today. Walk you through here, just give you a quick rundown of what makes this van unique and uh, very different from what you're going to see out there on the road today. So as we come in, I think right away the first things you're going to see is just the different colors. You know, we have plum fabric for the cushions followed by green, emerald on the wall. You'll see as you come in, there's a uh, trim as well as sliding doors are in purple. And then as we move back, we have some, a mix of stainless steel coming in with the bamboo concrete countertop stained in an antique white. And then again, rounding out the rest of the color scheme here with the honey gold yellow in the back. And I think as you can see, just by looking, the bamboo provides a lot of natural lines. You know, with the ceiling being continuous, straight down the van, giving that you know, nice flowing feel, as well as the vertical cabinet as in the shower, giving that nice clean line vertically. Plenty of storage. We utilize as much as we can. Uh, I like to tell my workers, pretty much thoughtful design. As we go through, think about where the plumbing is going to be, gray tanks, how the drawer is going to fit, where you're going to put your dividers, so we can maximize each drawer space and opportunity as best as we can. And in scenarios where there's going to be potential obstacles, you know, again, taking the time to make sure that we make the drawers appear that it's not an afterthought. You know, we're thinking it through and utilizing the space as best we can. So this van has plenty of storage, overhead cabinets, floor to ceiling. Open this up real quick, just again, so you can see the amount of space you're getting here. While we're not, again, taking up, taking your attention away from the detail. We don't provide an overflow of too much content in regards to screen, buttons. We keep it nice and clean and simple. There's just three displays over here that will give you a rundown for your heat, your charging, and your overall state of, uh, state of your batteries and your solar. From there, you know, simple clean shower, stainless steel, custom curtains that will drop down and give you privacy either for the bathroom or for your shower, and allowing all that to stay contained with a teak shower format on the bottom. Other than that, you know, it really comes down to the attention to detail and how we try to get everything to flow seamlessly, feel uh, soft to the touch, you know, breaking all the edges, rounding them where need be, thinking about where you might hit your head. Again, thoughtful design, small space, be creative, yet, you know, be thoughtful and uh, do your best work. That's what we do. Welcome, and I hope you enjoyed the tour. So here at Boulder Camper Vans, what makes us unique and different, again, giving the client the experience of having a van built the way they want um, is really just the start of the experience. But building a, a, a quality van that's here to stand the test of time and also withstand the conditions of Colorado, uh, from being four season to having heat to having uh, good onboard water storage, uh, heating pads on the water tanks, big battery systems so we can have AC in the summertime. Uh, we really, again, build our vans to be used all year round. Uh, so there really aren't any limitations on what you can do with our vehicles. And we pay attention to detail. You know, our clients love coming in and, and seeing every process of the build from what's behind the walls, how the wiring's ran, uh, how the insulation's put in, how the furniture's built. And I think they really appreciate knowing what's going on behind the scenes. And uh, we're, we're excited to show them every little bit of it because we really take our time. Uh, it takes us about three months to do a build. Um, just again because we don't have standard models and every model is built to the client's specification but we really like to take our time and that's just kind of our process what it takes to build the quality that you see here. So again thanks for checking it out I'm Brian with Boulder Camper Vans come check out the shop in either Boulder or Salida you won't be disappointed with what you see and we'd love to have you and give you a tour um, we've got some availability in February and March in both of our locations uh, to start a build. So come see us, check out the website, bouldercampervans.com. Thanks again.